Hello, I hope this video finds you well. Tonight we will be looking at combo string um, from string 1, and this is the Python solution. The problem states, given two strings a and b, return a string of the form short, long, short, with the short string on the outside and the longer string on the inside. The strings will not be the same length, but they may be empty, so length of zero. Now in this case, I'm not too concerned about a length of zero because I don't have to do any substring in this case. What I need to do is establish which of the two parameters is longer and then put that in the middle. And we can clarify this problem by looking at the examples. Hello and hi gives me hi, hello, hi. Hi, hello gives me the same thing, hi, hello, hi. And a, 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 b gives me b, a, 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 b. So I'm going to do this a couple ways. Um, approach one. And this is the way that I typically recommend it. Um, I'm going to make a string called long str, and I'm going to set long str to a, and I'm going to say short str, and that's going to be set to b. So what am I doing here? I am assuming that a is longer than b. And now I'm going to write an if statement. So I'm going to say if length of b is greater than length of a, well, then we're going to switch them. So we're going to say long str is equal to b, and short str is equal to a. And then all I do is I return short str plus long str plus short str. And there we go. So that's one way to do it. And this is a really nice way to do it because we have a single if statement here. And we start off with an assumption, and we only check one conditional statement. Now what some students will do when they do this problem is they might do it like this. Well, they might do something where they say long str, or they might just do this. They might say if length of a is greater than length of b, then we return a plus, sorry, b plus a plus b, else return a plus b plus a. And notice that works as well. So we simply avoided this idea of having to put them inside some sort of variable, and I've simply done a nice check here. Now, you know, we can optimize this a little bit, because remember, the big idea here is as soon as we hit a return statement, we stop running the function. So we don't actually need an else statement here. We can just pull this out like this. And this is a better approach when you're working within functions. It's not to put an else statement, but to put a catch-all return statement at the bottom. Um, and with that, I hope that helped. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Have a great day.